it going friends? Today we're going to be looking at a tech survival kit. Now this survival kit is meant for school, hence the fact that it's like a pencil holder, but it's meant for school and really not for elementary kids because elementary kids will not have a phone. So anywhere from middle to college. That's what this kit is meant for, so let's go take a look at it. Looking at the case, we can clearly see that it is a case for a binder because of these two binder rings right here. Now, this is made by Caseit. This is the case fully stuffed with all the gear we're going to be looking at today. And like I said, this is meant for school, so you would put this in a binder and kind of be inconspicuous. It'll be pretty cool. So let's look inside the case and see what we got. So here's the inside of the case. We have a mesh pocket here. We have pencil holders, but we're not going to be using them for that. We also have a strap back here for what I will be using as a tripod holder. You'll see later. And you just zip it up, and it goes into your binder. Now, ours is a little compacted and stuffed than it would normally be. But, you know, we're holding text, so it's going to be like that. So let's look at the inside contents. Since this case is recommended for anyone in middle school to college, I brought a portable charger because you're going to be using your phone throughout the day most likely, and I brought the charger to the portable charger so you could charge it up. And this portable charger, I've already done a review on that, so if you want a further in-depth review, you should check that out. But basically, it's got a light. If I can get that on, yeah, it's got a light. So you can shine it around dark surfaces, which can actually be pretty useful at school. It's 4,000 milliamp hours. It's very difficult to operate in my opinion. There we go, I got it off. There's a light bar right here showing you if it turns on or off, you can see those holes. And it's made by Vivitar. I will link it down below and you charge it through micro USB. The next item I have in my text survival kit are my earbuds. Now I'm actually liking these earbuds more and more every time I use them. They are the Apple earbuds that come with your phone. These are a little older style because the newer ones kind of look like AirPods but have wires. And they will run you a, I don't know, like, I think it was 10 bucks normally, so maybe 30 but I don't know the exact price, I'll link it down below. But these headphones are a solid pair of headphones, and you most likely get them free with any iPhone that's not a new iPhone, because they don't do that anymore, which is kind of sad. But these are a great earbud, and all around will get you through the day, because you're not going to be doing heavy music listening at school if you're paying attention, and it will only really, really be during your free periods. So that's why I have this in here, and let's go to the next item. Now, the next item I have is just a representation of another item. Another item. The real item would be the Fisher Space Bullet Pen, which is a pen that, if you don't know, you could write like upside down on the walls with. It's about 20 bucks, but here's a representation I have because I do not have the pen on me or at all. It is a pen made by Window World. It's uh, actually a really good representation. See, it's shaped like a bullet. This one actually has a flashlight, though. That's kind of cool. It's like a utility pen. And my favorite feature is the stylus. So you can touch your phone and stuff like that without getting your nasty, oily fingers on them. Now, I have included this pen for all the reasons above and the fact that you need a pen to write in school. Uh, you do not need pencils in a tech survival kit because, well, you should have those on you already unless you're an idiot. On to the next item. If you ignore my awesome cable management here... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about this, guys. You will see my mm, lightning, sorry, lightning charger, and it goes to my iPhone, so I can charge my iPhone using my portable charger in class. It is a braided cable by Amazon Basics, so it allows me to wrap it so poorly as I have done. But this will run you about 10 for 2, I believe, and it is actually one of my favorite cables that I've ever owned. It's braided and durable, and I will, I think, guarantee that it can last you one year if you use it mildly. It's a nice cable and it gets the job done. On to the next item. This next item is if you are a film student or do anything extracurricular that involves filming is a mini tripod. It can hold any phone I believe, not massive phones. It can hold plus models but I'll just give you a demonstration. It stretches about that far so it can hold any phone currently. Not those giant Samsung tabs though. It is pretty durable. I've had this for over a year now. It stands up like this. I've actually used this to film some of my videos. It goes like that, like that. It's a pretty cool tripod. It's cheap. It comes with the Stickbots animation kit if you've ever seen that, but I will leave a link to the separate tripod down below. It's durable, metal, springy. Overall, really nice construction. I am happy with it. Let's go to the next one. This is the last item. 
It is a wasabi, not wasabi, wasabi power wall charger brick thing. I don't know what to call it. It's a wall charger. But if you look in front, it does two ports, so you and your friend can share this, or you can use it to charge your portable charger. 2.1 amps on the bottom, 1 amp on the top. It does. It gets the job done. It will not explode on you. It's actually kind of bulky. It says GoPro because I use it to charge the GoPro batteries, but it's kind of bulky. Thus, I give you another option. This is the Wise wall brick. And for those of you that don't know, Wise is a security camera, W-Y-Z-E. They create security camera products, and this is a wall charger. Now, I'm recommending this because it doesn't take up much size, and it is a very cheap option. But it is not reliable, and I have had two, and they have both broken on me within about three months. So I would not recommend this, only if you're looking for something thin and small. That is it for today, guys. See you next time. Peace!